Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Jay and Grunny back with another video. Today's gonna be kind of like a vlog because your boy got a tripod and I'm finna film from my iPhone 8 Plus. So basically how today is gonna go is I got this class, right? And I'm in college, in case y'all didn't know, but I got this class, right? And it's a silk screening class, so I can learn how to make prints, print on t-shirts and stuff like that. So um, basically we learn how to do the whole process of like um, photo emotion and getting your photo or your image onto the silk screen so you can print it. So I'm gonna go in today, do that whole process, and I printed out a stencil of, of my face. It's actually one of my pictures. I'm gonna put it up right here. Well, I'm gonna show y'all in the next clip anyway when I get there, but uh, that's basically what's about to go down today. And I'm gonna try to print it on a t-shirt. So if the print comes out well enough, I'm gonna print it on a t-shirt. We are gonna see how that all works out. I'm gonna show y'all the process. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna get right into it. Oh, all right, I'm at the school, man. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's not people in here because I'm still not used to vlogging, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, it would be cool if I was in like, dang, this sounds terrible, but it would be cool if I was in like LA or something because, you know, people vlog there so like people are used to it but like in my city nobody vlogs like it's like barely like i can probably count on one hand how many youtubers are from here so um it's not a regular thing but i'm gonna go ahead and see i'm gonna go ahead and see if um if i can vlog in here so i'm at the shop So, I'm in the shop right now. Nobody in here. I'm feeling good. I'm about to do my emotion. Um, I bought two t-shirts to print on just in case one doesn't turn out good. So, hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all my, uh, my little print real quick. So, you get it, my drawer, you dig? You dig? <sighs> so, Yo, you know what? I forgot paper, bro. I forgot paper at home. How am I gonna come to a printmaker shop without paper? But, nah, this is... That's the stencil, basically. So, I hope y'all can see that, but... So, what I'm gonna do is... I'm printing on one of these screens. I got my own screen. That's the shop back there. But, um, hold on, let me flip the camera. So this is the screen that you put it on. Basically, it's gonna be like that. And I'm gonna put this under this so then I can print it in this back room right here. Hold on, let me show you. And it's like dark room with the light. Let's see if I can turn the light on. Oh. That's not the right light either. All right, so it's that light. So basically, I'm gonna put my screen in here. Um, then I'm gonna have like these bricks and stuff. I'm gonna lay it on the screen, turn the light on, set the timer. So then it can like process my screen with the with the emotion on it. So, so I hope that didn't lock on. All right, yeah. So that's that. I'm gonna set it up, let it dry then put my stuff on there. So we gonna see if this process works, man. Let me set this up real quick so I can show you. All right, so, so basically what you gonna do is you gonna have your emotion tray. You gonna put a emotion in here so that you can like cuff it up here on the tray. You gonna swipe it up to get your emotion on there. You do that for both sides and then let it dry um, in the dark. So it's gotta dry in the dark because the emotion like is affected by light. So let it dry in the dark, pull it back out, put your print or whatever under the screen. So then the light from under the light table can get onto your screen and then um, it will like break the emotion. So then you rinse it out and then that's pretty much it. You got your screen. So I don't know if the light in the 
room is gonna affect my phone at all, so I don't think I wanna record in there. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I decided to just say skip it and record it here. But first I gotta take all my stuff in here. Uh, this room is extra, extra, extra dark, bro. So I'm gonna just set my stuff up in here. grab my screen real quick you know what i'm saying yo this feels so much comfortable for vlogging with the tripod bro it makes no sense but yeah i got my screen close the door all the way hopefully i don't get locked in this thing it's a nice little light though i could do a photo shoot here low key <sighs> Nice little even mountain tree. Alright, so that's pretty uneven actually. But um I'm feeling a little dry and see if it comes out any better. Yo, I'm so bored right now to be honest with you, waiting for this thing. So um to cure my boredom, I'm finna just do like a b-roll of this little workshop. It's really not much to it, but bro, I'm bored, bro. I gotta do something. Hold on, I got y'all. Boredom got a new best friend. Boredom got a new best friend. Boredom got a new best friend. All right, so by this point, my stuff should be dry. Um, I'm finna go see. I'm finna get it out. You dig? So y'all can see how I look. It's kind of a little bit still wet and or at the edges, but I'm trying to like have God dang. I'm trying to like close this two door thing with one arm and vlogging at the same time. So y'all basically just watch me struggle, but uh I'm gonna take this in the light room, put my thing on it. I'm gonna show y'all the process. Yiddick. So all the stuff is in here. Uh I got my screen down here. You probably can't see it, but I got my image up here. I'm basically just gonna center this. I'm gonna lay out everything. So you gotta lay it so you can make sure that that your image comes out how you want it to. So I'm gonna try to like try to like square it up. And then I'm gonna lay some foam on it. I'm gonna lay some bricks on it and set the timer. So then the light will shine. We'll let it shine. Do all that stuff so it can go through it. And then after that, we gonna have our image. So I'm gonna just get back to y'all when the image is done. dry I got it all set up so I'm about to do a couple of prints see how it looks um, I also got my squeegee and everything got my ink so about to set it up I'm gonna print a little little preview see how it looks you know before I put it on a t-shirt but yeah I'm trying to set this camera up too somewhere like a little bit blurry but at like overall it came out dope so i'm probably about to print it on a few sheets of paper now i'm gonna print it on a t-shirt and then we're gonna see how it looks so i got two t-shirts a practice t-shirt and like a final one so we're gonna see how it looks all right so i'm leaving the shop right now um, got my shirt, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, I'm gonna show y'all it a little bit better. God dang, hold on. So that's the shirt. I'm gonna show it a little bit better when I get home and stuff. So um, just stay tuned. You about to see what it looks like. I'm gonna put it on. The front is kind of like, it was like um, too much ink in the screen when I printed the first one. So it kind of didn't go through clearly. So I did it again on the back, but I'm gonna go get another shirt eventually and print a better one. But I'm just about to show y'all what came out um, when I get home. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, so I'm back home, got the t-shirt. Um, overall, like the process was cool. This is my first time actually printing on a t-shirt. Um, I've printed before just like on paper and everything because like I said, it's my class. But um, yeah, I think it turned out dope overall. I had to swipe it through a couple of times to get like that full ink on there. Um, the front side was kind of more of like the practice side. Like I said, there was like too much ink in it already after I had been printing a few. So the front side didn't come out well, but like the front was just a practice and then I cleared the screen out and did it on the back. So the back came out super clear and super well printed. Um, overall, I'm probably gonna make another one. I do wanna see what else I can do with the stencil. I might like throw it onto like a denim jacket. I think that'd be dope. Like the back of the denim jacket, put it through and like maybe have like some white ink or something. I think that'd be absolutely fire. Um, I'm gonna play with stencils a little bit more and have like, um, maybe like some all over print stuff. But um, overall, this just leads up to like a bunch of stuff that I wanna do in the future. Um, trying to have a clothing brand. Uh, I guess I can't say soon yet, but in the future, I wanna have a clothing brand. Um, yeah, just overall, this was dope. It was a cool experience, man. And if you guys have like, get a chance to like print on t-shirts and stuff, I definitely say go ahead and try it so you can see um, what that whole experience is like. But yeah, this is dope. I'm gonna show you guys it on me. I probably showed it already, but um, that's besides the point. More stuff coming soon on this channel. So if you haven't yet, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. Like this as well. If you like t-shirts, if you like clothing, go ahead and like this video. But um, thanks for watching this video. I'll be back to you with more. Peace.